Hello everyone and welcome to our very first Cosmic Friday, which is the day that is all about Cosmic Girls. So I checked them out as part of my latest um, K-pop Discovery episode and I had mixed feelings about the album, but then there was just this one song and I think that's happened with all the groups that I check out for that latest episode episode nine i think it is and there was just this one song that made me pause and really really reassess myself and it made me intrigued and i wanted to hear more from them i definitely wanted to check out more of the music to see if it was just a thing where it's just the songs in that album, some of them were not for me, or it's just the type of sound that they have in general is not for me. And yeah, it was just some of those songs because I enjoyed myself so much with this album. I love it. And the thing is, um, some of their songs are really bubblegummy and I've said on the channel now uh, I think many times that this is definitely not my favorite genre when it comes to like songs and everything I'm not a fan of bubblegummy type of songs but in everything there's always exceptions and they just do that so well I love their vibe I love everything about them and they are so diverse. I, what's the, something that I really appreciate with this album is that it really went beyond what they showed me in their debut album. They really showed a totally different side of themselves with this album. And I love what I heard. And I definitely want to keep checking out more of their discography. And I really enjoy that. So... This album is definitely one that I really enjoy. Before I talk about my favorites for this particular album, I want to play the song that I really enjoy from their debut album, and that is Mo Mo Mo. A little bit of my favorite song from the debut album, Mo 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 Mo. So today is all about The Secret. And it's their second mini album. Like I said, I've really enjoyed myself with this one. There's just so much diversity when it comes to sound. And they have such amazing vocals. And they have so much to offer. I really, really love that. Um, like I said, the general, the whole bubblegum vibe and everything, definitely not my favorite, but they make it work. They really do. They really make it work. And to really make someone like me that is really, I hate that genre, to be honest, and make me enjoy the songs <laughs> that are 
maybe more on the bubbles bubblegum side it's just such a huge surprise to me that i could really enjoy those type of songs and it just made me like a little bit more attached to them because you know people taste are really set some people have set taste where it's really difficult to change what you like and i'm one of those people that i like something i don't like something and it's very black and white with me no gray in the middle but since i started this whole journey i found myself more in the gray than any any time before because i've realized that maybe it was just the way some people went about the genres that i not i don't like at all that i i really didn't enjoy but there is some songs that are worth listening to even though it might be in a genre that i i really despise and just cosmic girls they are just one of those artists they will make you love <laughs> love the um sound that you may not like before but if you love bubble gum and everything already definitely <laughs> they are the one for you but they also not just that there is more to them than just this happy everything happy all the time type of vibe they also there is some depth to their music to their sound and i love that so much so in this album there are two songs that i really love they are above all the other songs in the album in my personal opinion but all of them are very good so my second favorite in this album is baby
that was my second favorite on this album, Baby. The thing is, this is one of the songs where typically it's definitely not the type of song that I I would enjoy, that I will replay, or that I just even listen to more than once. But they make it work because they just made the something really interesting. I love the the little vibe switch. I love like the delivery of the lines. I really love how it feels so bouncy. It just feels like I'm having fun. And I love like the moments where it's just the instrumental doing its their th- it, its thing, and then like the little pauses in it here and there so i really love that they keep the track interesting and you always want to figure out what is coming up next and what whenever it happens you still like feel like it's not um predictable i love that i love that they made this track so interesting and like i said it's definitely not the type of music that i enjoy on the regular but just the song works for me now, when it comes to my number one, <laughs> the best song on the album, according to me, of course, is Good Night. <laughs> So night my favorite in this album and the thing with the song is that 
I love to be surprised like this. I love when there's just this one song that just you're not expecting in an album. And when you listen to it, you immediately know that is going to be your favorite. Like from the first five to ten seconds of the song, I was already conquered. I was like, this is it. This is the song. This is, you know, that flagship of the album. It's definitely this song. I love this so much because... It was just so, it was different from what they've shown me so far. I love the diversity. I love that they are able to do songs like this and then the usual style. And I really enjoy that. I love the vocals. The vocals in the song, they're so pretty. And I just love everything that they do. I love the melody. And it reminded me of... um. I don't know if many of you listen to Augusta Sina, but um, Augusta Sina has a song that is called Right There. And just the guitar and everything, it just reminded me of that with this song. And it's another song that I really enjoy and definitely one that you should check out. But when it comes with this song, with Good Night, it's such a beautiful song and it's just so amazing. I love that. I love everything that they did with the song. Uh, it's the type of song that definitely is going to stay with you. You want to hear it like immediately after you're done. And it's the last one in the album. So once you're done, it's just the one that's one song that makes you say, okay, let me listen to this album a second time. Because it just leaves you with this pleasant feeling and you just feel so happy you just want to listen to it again immediately and it's another one that is definitely on my daily playlist that I listen to a lot since I've heard it from for the first time and I really really love that like I said um those album really gave me a new perspective perspective when it comes to cosmic girls because the first one um didn't really match my expectations but this this is the type of moment that I live for I love being wrong about an artist I really love like when I have an idea of the discography the songs and everything that I maybe expect in an album and then when I go and listen to it it's just so good and different and I love finding out finding new layers to an artist I think it just makes that artist stand out so much to me and I was not sure going to this album like I said because the first one didn't really hit it with me so there were a lot of growers in that album so I was really like how what's the word hesitant I was really hesitant to going into this one and just listening to it really made me appreciate Cosmic Girls a lot and I definitely look forward to this amazing journey throughout their discography because I just know there's more amazing surprises in store as they grow as artists they gain more skill and everything I just know there's more out there and I am just so excited for that so that's it for me today um, I talk to you again next Friday for another episode of Cosmic Friday.